have the agenda. So the first, sorry, um, okay. the extension request for the order of conditions, I believe. Okay, so I'll open a meeting tonight for the Hadley Con Con, February 13th, 2024 at 6.30 p.m. First on the agenda is request for extension of order conditions 170-278, three Mitch's way, Lionel and Wendy Disforges seek to renew their order conditions permitting the seasonal placement of seven campers on their property. Okay. Is there any here, anybody there for the present this or not? Wendy's here and Lionel. Thank you. We just want to renew our permits for the next three years. Kayla, do you see any issues for extending it? Um, I don't see any issues. One thing that I wanted to bring up, which is later on the agenda, but we might as well address it now because it relates to renewing camper permits. Um, so there's only, I think, two order of conditions for campers. The rest were requests for determination um, for campers along the riverfront. And the way that the building department and the whole river uh, committee, I don't know exactly what the committee is called, but who issue the um, the camper permits, is it's separate from the order of conditions, which comes through conservation. Um, they are renewing in the process of renewing permits every three years. But for us, we have to renew it a little differently just because our order of conditions is separate from the permit issued by the building department. Um, and there's a $100 fee, I believe, to renew the building permit. And our fee schedule for the Conservation Commission also has a $100 fee for extending an order of conditions. And I was wondering if we wanted to waive that because they're already paying a $100 fee to renew the permit through the building department um, for this situation, just because it seems a little bit redundant to charge twice to renew basically what's permitting the same thing. Can we do that? Yeah, that's completely up to us because we have the, um, we created the fee schedule and we have the ability to waive fees. I, it's up to you guys, um, how you feel. So, I have no with that at all. so who do we have for members say We have Brandon, Steve, myself, and Ray. we have Ray. Yeah. Ray I'm here. Yeah. Ray's yes. Here. So we have four out of five, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm willing to forego it. I'll vote against charging the fee. Steve? Second. Brandon? <clears throat> what do you think, Brandon? Brandon, Brandon you got you're muted. You, you got to unmute, Brandon, please. Okay, Ray, what do you think? I would say I would say waive it, absolutely. If they're already paying one station, they shouldn't have to pay second. Yeah. Okay, Ray. I agree with everybody. Absolutely. So we have four to five members present and we all agree to waive the fees, so so be it. So Wendy, I'll just rip up the check. I, I won't cash the check that you sent in. Okay, that'll be great. So we'll just owe the registry of deeds now. Yeah. Because we have to pay that every three years. Right. So um, all okay. I need, I talk to them and all I need is a new updated order of conditions to yeah, bring so over. So now to we them. need to vote. Yeah, we need to vote to issue an extension order of conditions, which I will send to you. Okay. You'll send it to me and Janet, correct? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So have there been any major changes since the last order conditions? No. Just um you weren't on, I don't think, when that tree fell down. Yep. So it took down two trees. The tree that was right on the side of it too. So um I will look for a motion to uh request an extension of the order conditions. I make a motion to extend the order of conditions for three minutes away. I'll second it. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 
We're missing somebody. No. Hi. Uh, Steve, Brandon, myself. Um, Ray. Ray. Ray, you there? Yes. Yes. I. You vote yes. Yes. I. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's unanimous. Oh All my set. God. Yes. Thank you. All right, so Wendy, okay. I will send you a physical copy and I'll also email you in Janet. Okay, thank you very much. No problem, have a good night. You too, thanks, yeah. bye. Thank you. Next on the agenda is request for determination of applicability, Hopkins Academy Athletic Fields. Hopkins Academy seeks to perform drainage ditch maintenance along South Middle Street. Hi, uh, Doug Searle here. Uh, with. Berkshire Design Group and uh, here representing uh, Hopkins Academy and also uh, DPW. It's a partnering with the, the schools, partnering with DPW for this work. Um, the uh, we're ultimately here to uh, seek permission uh, uh, to do uh, normal uh, maintenance of the drainage ditch uh, uh, along uh, the uh, South uh, Middle Street drain easement. Uh, that is uh, 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 south of uh, uh, Hopkins Academy that's associated with the uh, agricultural fields. Uh, it's part of the agricultural fields uh, drainage uh, south of the school. Um, and we're wanting to do that under uh, an exemption uh, under 310 CMR 1004 Agriculture B7, which is a normal maintenance for field ditches and man-made water management systems. Um, before I go on further, I wanted to know if I could share my screen. I think you should you should be able to. Let me know if you have any issues. Okay, great. Thanks, Kayla. Uh, let's see. Okay, is everybody able to see that? Yep. Uh, all right, great. Uh, so this is just a Google Earth aerial photo um, where I've outlined uh, the uh, approximate, approximate limit of work. The uh, South uh, Middle Street uh, Route 47 uh, runs here just uh, east of the area of work and the South Middle Street uh, drain easement is uh, running along here. And this is a, a portion of that easement. Uh, all this has come about uh, just as a slight backstory as like why is Hopkins Academy a, a part of what would be typically DPW's work. Uh, the school is, is undergoing, as, as you know, uh, uh, a, a phase two of construction of their, of their athletic fields. And as uh, uh, members uh, from the school's uh, team, um, uh, ma uh, project management team, uh, had walked back in this area, including uh, Jeff Mish that owns, uh, I think this house here, uh, uh, was aware that there's a lot of ponding uh, in sections of this uh, agricultural ditch here. And it uh, seems to be stemming from uh, uh, a lot of uh, weeds wow. that are growing up in the area. So here's a couple photos of what that looks like as we uh, start uh, uh, walking down. The, and the primary areas of work are, are um, here in between uh, 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 Culvert 2 and Culvert 3. There's a series of uh, uh, overgrown vegetation, uh, cattails and Japanese knotweed uh, that seems to be raising the elevation of the base of the drainage ditch and causing a blockage in flow and also between culverts four and five, uh, uh, there's there's excessive vegetation. So what we are uh, hoping uh, to do is um, uh, be able to uh, remove, essentially do maintenance uh, to remove that uh, uh, vegetation along the base, and maintaining the geometry, uh, the original geometry of the of the channel. Um, I'm switching here to the site plan that was submitted um, shows uh, the uh, profile of the drain channel and the location of the drain channel in that profile that we had surveyed uh, in um, uh, December and early January. 
uh, there were several areas uh, between uh, the various culverts that break up this uh, segment of the uh, uh, drain easement where uh, the elevations were uh, a little bit higher due to the vegetation in those areas. This is culvert two and, and culvert three. And then as we head south between culverts four and five, there was another area that with extensive vegetation um, and what we're uh, seeking to do is just permission to be able to do uh, some, some kind of basic maintenance to remove that vegetation, not change the geometry of the banks or really lower the base of the, uh, the drainage ditch um, and then remove that vegetation. And as it uh, seems that previous um, practices were to remove that and put that on the farm fields um, uh, with permission of the uh, farm uh, owners uh, where they then turn it into the soil uh, before they uh, uh, disc and rototill uh, kind of late winter, early spring. We understand that we would need, uh, the other piece of this is that we'd also like to request a, a waiver from the from the town, um, uh, fr from, from CONSCOM for, for the uh, uh, town's wetland bylaw, uh, 35 foot uh, no build buffer to be able to uh, access this area and, and conduct this maintenance work. Uh, we're aware in 2019 that um, uh, we would need uh, uh, written permission from all of the landowners that this easement uh, runs through uh, uh, to uh, and get that um, uh, uh, those uh, those uh, you know letters of written permission uh, to the Conservation Commission before any work would commence and we're certainly uh, happy to make sure that that happens. Um, and we are um, uh, happy to follow any other protocols that were part of uh, previous uh, maintenance activities that DPW had conducted, uh, like from their last RDA that they, they had uh, submitted in, in 2019. Um, and so that's, that's kind of the essence of uh, what this request is about and wanted to see if you have questions. So let me give you a little bit of history. Please. That ditch from Bay Road to the athletic fields was excavated and widened back in 1984-85 when b &M Construction performed, uh, they did work on Route 47 going north, River Drive, going toward the Connecticut River. Okay. That ditch was never that wide or that that deep. If you look on the south side from Bay Road to the Hadley Cove, you see what the ditch used to look like. And it's part of the reconstruction of Route 47 back in the early 80s. That ditch was widened and cut the way it was all the way to the Hadley Athletic Fields. And how do I know? Because b and Construction did the work at the time and that's when I got the compensatory storage in the floodplain to fill my property at Route 9 to build my new shop on, on, on the highway. Hmm. Okay. So we allowed it back then to be widened and deepened. It actually should have been done from Bay Road to the Hadley Cove, but it was not. It was part of the reconstruction of Route 47, basically the northern end of Middle Street toward River Drive was part of the project that allowed this ditch to be widened and cleaned out, which has not been maintained since basically 1984-85 when I got on the board. So I have, I have no... Sorry, go ahead. go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna ask, um, uh, was the, I thought that this, uh, this uh, drainage ditch was part of some maintenance work that DPW had conducted in 2019. It could have been very well, but we're talking going back to the 80s. Fair, yeah, that makes sense. So I see no reason why not to allow the maintenance of this ditch to okay. be cleaned out. Great. And give them a waiver about the 35 foot zone because it was done before. Okay. How's the rest of the board feel about this? The drainage ditch, clean it. Yep. Yep, and, agree. And Ray, your, your dad and your brother Ted back then were very much a part of this project to clean the dish out to begin with back in the early yeah. 80s. 
and that we actually had the uh, we had the field cuts every 50 foot to determine the amount of uh, floodplain fill that was taken out that was used in compensatory storage to fill my property at one Russell Street to build my new building on the highway. Hmm. Hmm. So I, I have a direct I connection to this. Yeah, I remember working. I remember working in that, on that uh, on that drainage ditch. I I, I was there when it, when we cut it all out. Wow, interesting. So you. So Ray, you can back me up and uh hundred percent. So everything everything you said. Yep. So as far as I'm concerned, this needs to be done. It should be a negative determination. I don't have the form in front of me, but if we can fill it out when I can see a form in front of me. Uh, let me or Kayla, share maybe my screen and I can show me. you. Sure. Yeah. Let me let me stop sharing, Kayla. Okay. Uh, da -da. Check controls and stop sharing. Okay, should be all yours. We think you with number three. Um, let's see, buffer zone. I'm not sure if it's buffer zone. Well, I think we're in the 35 foot zone. That would be, yeah, that would be under um, number six, which is, which we references the bylaw. Yeah. Okay. I think uh, under number five, Kayla is uh, the area described in the request subject to jurisdiction under the act since the work described here meets requirements for the following exemption and the exempt activity would be would be normal maintenance in uh, an ag land in agricultural use so it'd be you know 10 uh, zero four uh, agriculture uh, b7 is really the 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 part from the Wetland Protection Act that covers this is what I would suggest for this. It's not really ag land, though, is it? Isn't that school property, not ag land? Ag well, with no, ditches, a... with ditches, Steve, it's ag land. Yeah, the no work is proposed where it's the the school's property uh, abuts mm -hmm. uh, the ditch at the northern end before it it cuts over to Middle Street, um, but we're not necessarily proposing to do work there we're, we're certainly requesting to do uh, the work where it is part of the uh, drainage of the agricultural fields well, yeah, i don't know what you're talking about it's all, it's, all, it's all that south of there is all filled in too correct yes by, it by is. the baseball it is field that's what i thought you guys were fixing the <laughs> no, uh, yeah the, the fields uh, drain also into this uh drain easement and then right where uh, the uh, culvert comes from Middle Street over into this uh, drain, and then it heads south uh, past all the uh, farm fields as part of where all the farm fields are slope, you know, really gently slope uh, towards that ditch and, and surface drain, uh, uh, surface flow, you know, drains into that ditch. So uh, it seems that the bulk of the vegetation is there. There is a little bit of vegetation that is next to the school's property that's also adjacent to this it seems i mean it seems relevant to seek permission just to to try to clean it out our our uh, effort would be to start at the low end and then work our way up to see where we would sort of remove the blockage most effectively um trying to take out really only a minimal amount you know like six inches uh, of depth of material at a, at a minimum looking at the elevations of the culverts that, that cross through it and trying to stick to those inverts that are there. We're not really trying to make deeper ponds or pools through this. So um, that's, that's, the, that's the objective with this. So Doug, what do you recommend? What do you want checked off? I would, I guess I'm suggesting number five where because it's exempt uh, uh, for, uh, for agricultural use. What do you think, Kayla? I was going to ask what you think. I th I think I feel okay with that, um, since if we go through them, not an area subject to jurisdiction. I don't think we could check off that one. Um, within an area subject, but we'll not. Yeah, I think five is the best one with the exemption. Okay, so I just want to get this done. 
So mm -hmm. I, I think it needs to be done. I want to get it done and get it accomplished. So I'm going to look for a motion for negative determination, number five. So we would have to do number six as well. Number six to the 35 foot zone. Yep. So negative five and six. Yep. With the uh, 35 foot six, zone, think. you know, refer to. Do I have a motion? Don't make so a motion. Yeah. So we have a motion and a second. 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 Or okay. Ray can take it. Any further discussion? I just have a quick question from Doug. For, sure. for Doug. Okay, right. What do you, where do you think this, did, did this uh, fill that is in that ditch right now, did that come off the field? My guess is over the years, the sediment would be coming from that direction, you know? Yeah. Um, and it then it's so also, there's just the root mass of the vegetation that's growing upon itself, like Japanese knotweed and cattails do. Um, uh, and and then they're- everything now? Yeah, they're just piling up uh, and yeah. growing on top of itself. So there's a large root mass that's that's causing it, and then and then capturing uh, you know sediment that would maybe normally move through the area. Um, okay. But there's probably trace amounts over the past you know since the since yeah. the eighties. There's certainly trace well, amounts of yeah. surface. We're flow. talking forty years worth of sediment being good. captured. Exactly. Yeah. By vegetation. Yeah. Okay. Nope. Thank you. Yeah, All those in favor? Yeah. Aye. 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 We have four. Yep. Eight, yes. Eight. Brandon. Okay. So be it. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Gary. Thank you for the backstory as well. Yep. It's kind of coincidental. I have a connection <laughs> to it. It's fair. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you all. And next on the agenda, I will is... send that. Doug, I'll, I'll get yeah, that sorry. DOA out to you in the next few days. Great. Thank you, Kayla. No problem. Have a good night. Thanks, you too. So we're all doing an awesome job tonight. First time we've done this in a long time. Yeah. So next on the agenda is emergency certification, three mill site road, an emergency certification to pump and fill an area of a collapsed septic system and install a new system further from the wetland resource area and was issued and needs to be ratified. I talked to Kayla about this before and I gave her permission to do that. So, would you yeah, think so I'll just quickly share the plan um, for reference. Please, thank you. Okay, so this was the site of the collapsed septic tank. Um, I don't know if you could see my mouse, but this was the original tank, and they installed siltation and erosion controls. Here's the wetland line. So it was within probably the 35 feet buffer zone. Um, and then, oops, I think I, I have to delete my annotation um which i can't do anyway so they're filling the area and then they're installing a new tank further from the wetland up here so it'll be probably out of that out of the buffer zone and that was that was what i permitted with the emergency certification so what we need to do is we need to ratify it i don't know how you want to handle the signatures Maybe if you are all able to stop by town hall in the next few days, um, you can sign it or I could send it out or drop it off wherever is convenient for you guys. Or if I need be, I'll, I'll bring it around to the people. Okay. I can come by tomorrow. I got to see Ben anyways at the other office, so. I can come by so, tomorrow too. Great. <laughs> which, yeah. uh, Kayla, which, which one is mill site number three? Is that the UMass horse farm site or is that going to be the Stockbridge site? That's Cibola's, isn't it? That's it's what I'm not, thinking of. Yeah. yeah, it's not the horse farm. It's Cibola, right? I think, yes, it was Cibola. Yeah, John Cibola, I, okay. Yeah, that puddle in back of his house it backs up all the time. There's water in there. Like Yeah, that, all, that almost goes right up to his amazing. house. Oh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. especially this year. Yep, I know exactly what you're talking. Okay. So I would definitely move it as far away as possible. Yeah, 100%. Yep. So okay. I, I look for a motion to support this. Second. Who made the motion? You got it. Someone's <laughs> got to make a motion. <laughs> for a motion. See what's a second. How about you, Ray? You want to make the motion? 
I move to approve the uh, emergency uh, conditions that, that were applied uh, under this uh, septic repair at the site. Steve's Steve seconded already. Any and further Steve discussion? Already. <laughs> okay. a little ahead of you, just a little ahead of you guys. That's all right. We're doing well tonight. Thank you. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, unanimous. Okay. We're, we're cruising pretty good tonight. Good. Uh, next up is public comment. Hello. Let me turn my video on. Hello. Hi. Um, my name is Sarah Mailhot. This is my husband, Mark. Um, he talked to Kayla a little earlier this morning, this afternoon. Um, so thank you for sneaking us onto this. I don't, we weren't part of the agenda um, and I'm not sure we have anything to approve so much so as asking a question about a property we're building at 94 Hockenham. Um, we are in the middle of getting the land cleared and we wanted to see if there's any kind of barrier that needs to be placed between the brook that runs like perpendicular to our property. It's not on our property, but we wanted to make sure if a silt fence was necessary or hay. Um, we couldn't really find that in any bylaws, so we'd rather err on the side of caution and run it um, through you all at Kayla's recommendation. So, well, all I could do is I could pull up Mass Mapper really quick and show um, the location of the property if that's helpful. Thank you. Kayla, and I'm not sure if you also got um, the Massachusetts Endangered Species Certification when they had a uh, biologists right yeah. come out to the land so there's no like endangered or um, wildlife species that would be affected by right. the bill that's good to know because you might be in a polygon for that but we have to renew you know make sure yeah. you're not affecting so they, they are in the natural heritage uh polygon so that's what the green stripes are and i believe so you sent me the letter i haven't taken a look at it yet okay. um but I'll, I'll take a look at that and then is this the brook that you're talking about this one to the left yes yep, yep. okay Kayla, can you blow it up a little bit bigger so I can see what's around it? Yeah. You get a location? So can you give me yeah, some so landmarks, Kayla? So this What's, is the what? river. Um, this is the, it's it's a triangle directly property. across from Mitch's Marina. See, see, number, see, see lot two there? I think that's Shippies. Here, yeah. Let me remove the floodplain because it's a little bit distracting. That's Shippies' so, parents. Right? Number two should be Mitch's Marina, right? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. So it's 95. 95 is Shippies. 95 ship, so it's across the road. I know the site. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. upland. There's a lot of springs on that hillside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Fueling that. Uh, I grew up in Shippy. Spent a lot of time oh. down there. And it's pretty wet on the right hand side, where our left hand side we're looking at, because that stream comes down through there. There's a lot yep. of natural springs on a hillside. So, but you got to be. Any work within 100 feet of that stream should be uh, an RDA. OK. Um, it's upland. It's high land. Everything slopes from there down toward Hockenham Road. So I don't see any wetland issues except to the uh, south, the property line. OK, that's good. It's all we wooded right now, right? Yep, yes, correct. correct. OK, I know yep. it well. Yeah, and hey, folks, I just I would like to bring something up here. Um, I I did the perk tests on this lot. Uh, Hi, Ray. Hi, Ray. <laughs> uh, a few years back, before I was on the board. Okay, so I just want to make sure make sure everything's on the up and up. Um, I'm I'm not designing anything here right at this point in time or anything like that right now. So, but I think I will abstain from from voting on this just just to uh, you know stay out of the. Uh, which is fine. We have, um, we, have, we have three out of four that can vote to make a yeah. quorum, but you have yeah. good, better knowledge of the site than all of us do. You walk. Yeah. It. So. So I don't think we need so. to vote on anything tonight, right? Just an informal discussion. Yeah. So, do you see any issues, Ray? Um, I that brook is actually upstream. It, it's the, the 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 lay of the land actually goes up towards that when you walk towards that brook from like say the center of that triangle so i don't i don't foresee anything you know no matter how much excavation they do in that in that uh triangle it's not going to go towards the brook it's going to go towards route 47 
you okay. have a very good memory. <laughs> So, and I, I think I, I, I know the site somewhat from going by it from years ago. I think you're right because it's very high. It is. It is. There's 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 like a there's like a natural berm right that that goes along that brook. I don't know if it was dug out and the spoils were put, you know, along that property line there, but it it, it definitely goes uphill. It's so I mean, but. I, I think I think the only thing we need is if they're going to work within 100 feet of that brook or the wetlands, we need to see an RDA so we have something in file. Showing the setbacks and erosion controls. Yep. Any input from the board members? I mean, if you if you require that on any other any other site, especially with excavation going on, I, I don't see why this would be exempt from it. In, in, an RDA is a simple process. Right. It's going to be within 100 feet of the brook. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it's very buildable from what I can see. Perfect. Okay, I can so send you the information. Sorry. Go ahead, Kayla. Go ahead. I can send you the RDA form if you, and if you want help filling it out, I can help you. Um, so you will have to come back for a, a public meeting once you submit that application and then they will issue the determination and then you should be all set. Um, okay. So yeah. Perfect. And you, um, you have Mark's email address, so that's awesome. Thank you. What did you say the number on the lot was going to be? 94. 94. Yeah, we just got the driveway mm -hmm. permit back um, oh, from the okay. town. Okay. So officially assigned, and I'm sure we'll be in touch soon, Ray. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> so we'll get that RDA back to you, Kayla. Thank you for sending it to us, and thank you for your time, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Bye-bye. So I have to pardon the board for a minute. I have to uh, visit the restaurant and be right back. Thank you. Maybe we should take like a five-minute break. Sure. Thank you. And come back in five minutes. Okay. Hmm. My phone's probably going to die in about five minutes. So if that happens, that's what happened. <laughs> I tried doing this on a laptop, but we didn't have it figured out. So, if it wasn't for my wife, I wouldn't be here. Oh yeah, there's no way I'd be able to figure this out. No. <laughs> Her name used to no, pop that's... up all the time. Actually, it's finally my name. Hey guys, I heard you guys say take a five minute, but when, when Gary comes back, I'd love to uh, kick off um, what we wanted to talk about. But I will spare you guys until Gary gets back. Good. Thank you, I'm back. <laughs> hey there, uh, am I good to go, Kayla? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. So, so my name is Christian Brownlee. I, uh, I work at Chestnut Realty Management, a uh, real estate investment firm in Boston. On this phone call also is my colleague, Colton Dana, and then uh, two of our consultants, uh, Connor Bailey and Luke DiStefano at uh, Bowler Engineering. Um, and this is uh, just a, um, you know, a cursory commentary um, phone call to, to just get your feedback and, and if, you know, seek any comments or concerns or identify any red flags we might be running into. But we own the Stop It Shop Anchor Center in Hadley, 440 Russell Street. We bought it in October of 2022. And with it uh, is a bunch of land behind it. It's a bunch of wooded area. It's a, there's a cell tower back there. I'm sure you guys know it. Um, and what we're preliminarily looking into is uh, clearing some of that wooded area and building uh, non-climate control self-storage, approximately 75 to 85,000 square feet of non-climate control garage style self-storage. So if you're looking at the shopping center, north of the shopping center is the wooded area that we own. And then north of that is uh, the Pioneer Valley Storage Stadium, not owned by us, but just for context. Um, and you know our plan, I can pull it up to um and connor and luke let me know if i should pull up something different but i'll pull this up for the time being uh to give you just general sense of um 
the scope. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So this is the, that circle is the cell tower. Uh, south on plan is our shopping center, and north on plan is um, is Pioneer Valley Pioneer, uh, Storage Stadium. So our plan, you know, takes into account the 35 foot non-disturbed buffer, the 100 foot general buffer, uh, and maintain the 20 percent uh, lot line open or uh, lot area as open, um, exclusive of the wetland areas on site, and um, and the overall area that uh we think like 10 10 acres is upland and then once you take out buffers and stuff i think you're left with about eight acres and our project here would um would take about five acres of it so um we went on a phone call a few weeks ago with the planning commission or planning board to uh talk about and get any feedback um and it was met uh, well, um, and, you know, we wanted to do the same here uh, of any anything we might, might not be thinking of any issues that you guys might have with this. Um, and then Luke and, and Connor, if, I, if I'm missing any key questions, please jump in. No, so far, so good. I always thought that was all wetland back there. It's very wet back there. I know that for a fact. But it might not be designated that on a map. That's the only thing. It's very wet back there along the outskirts. It's a big piece of land. It's a really big piece of land. Um, so in the in this in the area here that we've identified, this is all firmly upland. Well, it'll be it will be up to you to present the plans. We're not gonna tell you how you can and can't do it. That's not our job. But you have to get your environmental scientists and your wetland scientists and your environmental people that present a plan to us and we'll look at it at that time. Gary, what do you think? Would this be a notice of intent? Oh, definitely notice of intent. What does that consist of? Sorry. Talk to your environmental people, please. We can't, uh, we can't fill up the form for you. Listen, I can send you um, a copy of the form and give you the process of how we do it and how we handle like the legal notices and everything. Um, but yeah, you'll need an environmental scientist for the wetland delineation and to actually come up with the plans. Yeah. Yeah. And Christian, we can certainly help. That's part of what we had talked about early on. So we can certainly help guide you through that process. We've done it a ton of time. So we know it well. Got it. Anything else, Luke, you want to bring up now that we have the forum? No, I think you, you touched on most of it. Good evening, everybody. Luke DiStefano with Bowler Engineering. What, uh, as Christian mentioned, we were just looking for a little bit of feedback relative to, you know, the, the general disposition of the project, as well as, you know, the fact that we will have some encroachment into wetland buffer, as well as potentially some floodplain issues. Nothing egregious based on what we think we know of the property right now. Clearly, we're at step one of 100, and we understand we've got some additional uh, research to do to make sure everything that we think we know we know uh, but again it's always good to get some initial feedback from whether it be a planning board zoning board or a commission like yourselves just to make sure there isn't any major red flags that we might not have seen in our initial review something that you guys might be aware of the property being uh, local to the particular site that we may not know Again, just trying to get a flavor for the commission's thoughts really on the general buildability and, and possibility of, of what we're looking to do here. And I know you guys can't do any kind of decisions or you know, issue any kind of real advice at this point, but you know, absent hearing anything of or any of you really sighing out loud or dropping pens on the floor, it sounds like you know, we have a reasonable plan here and, and there is opportunity to move forward. Like I said, I thought it was really wet back there. That's the only issue I've got. And I tend yeah. to agree too. So you need to present to us your plans until then we can't give you uh, any way we're gonna side as far as yay or nay, but it's a, that's, uh, that's you have to present it to us. Okay, we'll work on uh, some plans and we'll, we'll be back to you guys. 
Okay. Thank you guys for your time. Good. Thank you Thank for you letting us be aware of what you're trying to do there. And, uh, you know, we'll wait to see your plans. Thank you. Thank you. So, any uh, more, any more public comment, people? I'll move on to discussion items. Other business? Do you? Uh... So for other business, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, Kayla. Um, I think we already touched on the camper permit renewal process, so um, we'll just keep renewing or extending the order of conditions for three years and waive the fee. Um, because the applicants are already paying for the building permit for the campers. Um, and then the next thing is the annual report for 2023. So I have a draft of this. I may have sent it in the email, but if not, um, I'll just share it on my screen and you can give it like a quick look over before I send it in um, to Jennifer. So let's see. This is that's the whole thing. Um, I basically used the kind of format that I've seen in the past annual reports for the Conservation Commission. I think it's uh, short and concise and it gets to the point and I'm fine with it. Yeah, it looks good. Do you want me good to job. add anything or edit anything? Just let me know. I'll probably submit it tomorrow. I think Jennifer wants them in by the end of this week. I think, I think, I think you've done a great job. Thank you very much. Okay, no problem. We're very much in support of having, appreciative of having you. And I think you've done a great job this year. Thanks, Gary. All right, I'm going to stop ahead. sharing this. Cool. The next thing, tree removal policy updates. Unfortunately, I don't have it with me. I thought that I would um, finish it up yesterday and then I spent the day you ruined trying my to night. figure out all the materials <laughs> <laughs> of the Zoom meeting. So I will have that for next month. Um, and forgiven. then the last thing. If, if we don't have a big storm you, next time. I yeah. know, I know, huge storm. The next thing is the Paul Alexanderson Memorial tree planting. So we had pushed this back to the spring because um, we were running out of time in the fall. And I spoke to Kim and she's still in support of moving this forward. DPW offered their help um, with transportation of the tree and digging the hole by the um, Alexander Dawson Conservation Area by the river. And so I was wondering if we wanted to pick a date now. Um, I was thinking in eight, late April slash early May planting. And I think Kim wants to bring out some family members, so she just wants to know ahead of time when they should come out for the planting. Does this, does this require an RDA? Because we're probably within a 35-foot buffer zone, right? To dig a hole? That's a good question. Um, I'm joking. We're going to let I it go. Know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it would be. Okay. We're going to do it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we'll do it. Don't tell anybody. Yes. We're gonna, we get, we get it might be out of the 35 feet anyway. I don't know. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So, are there dates that work best? Um, I don't know who wants to be there, but Gary, if you wanted to say a few words, because I know that you were on the board with Paul at the same time. Um, up to you, though. Whatever, whatever you feel is best. I, I'll I be there. To... I just need to remember when it is. <laughs> I, I yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll be quiet. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. So what is it gonna be? Um can I propose April twenty-eighth? Sounds good. That's a Sunday. Oh, it's a Sunday? Yeah. Hmm. Are there days that work better? No, I'll be in church. <laughs> Do a Saturday. Um, 
I mean, I guess whatever yeah. day, whatever day, whatever day is fine. Guess, we'll it doesn't it matter. Yeah. That's that's enough of a heads up, or it shouldn't shouldn't make a difference. Yeah. We'll make it work. We're after snowmobile season, so we're all set. We're good. <laughs> snowmobile right, season. So. Yeah, right. Just snow then. <laughs> yeah, it's I think family. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's try um. Twenty seventh or twenty eighth. Anyone have a preference Saturday versus Sunday? No. Nope. Flip a coin. Yeah. Let's do we, a, we, can do, we can do 28th as a rain day if we have a bad day on 27th. There you go. Okay. April 27th, rain day 28th. Yep. Great. So I'll be in touch with Kim and DPW. Cool. Okay. The next thing is Bill's. Uh, the MACC annual conference is coming up on March 2nd, which I'm hoping to attend. They have a bunch of info sessions. Um, and if anybody else is look or wants to attend you're also welcome to it's in Worcester at the Holy College of the Holy Cross um, but there is a fee for that it's $150 um, and then my other bill is another MACC course which is $65 so for is that $150 per person? yeah so I'll be happy to save the board the fees and let you have the fun time we still do have about four hundred dollars in our tuition budget for the year, so. I think I think we should send Steve to that meeting. Steve, I, you want to go? I make a motion. I'm going to be busy that day. <laughs> <laughs> then Ray's going to be your alternate, <laughs> followed by Brandon. Good time for my phone to die. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Did Brandon's phone die? He said it was gonna. Okay. okay. He, so he did. He did. He said it was gonna die. So yeah. He did he's say that. Dead. Okay. We're losing. So I We're guess he's dropping. going with the meeting with you. <laughs> They're dropping like flies. Okay. What's left? Bills. Bills. The bill. So it's two hundred and five dollars from the tuition budget for me to yes. go to the annual conference and take the uh, erosion and sedimentation inspection course. With I think that's really well spent. Okay. I agree. All right, and that's all I have for bills. Oops, there he goes. And the last thing I have is the January minutes. Um, I don't know if you got a chance to look over them. I could share my screen again. There's another page. So let me know when I can scroll to the next page. Go ahead. Yeah. Because of me. I make a motion, accept the minutes as proposed. Or looking for a motion, I should say. I can't do it. Looking for a motion. Make a motion to accept the minutes of last month's meetings as read. Second. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, pass three to four. We lost uh, Brandon. Hmm. Okay, so that all being said, anything else the board wants to bring up tonight? If not, I want to thank everybody hmm. for coming tonight. And uh, it was a different experience. Didn't work. <laughs> great with Zoom. Didn't work too bad. No, it yeah. worked out pretty well, folks. I actually, I'm happy. okay. Well, you're doing a great freaking job. We're so lucky to yeah. have you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. glad to be here. Thanks. Yeah, don't go anywhere. No, no. Uh, you're awesome. Otherwise, I'm going to look for a motion to for adjournment. Make a motion. Yeah. Adjourn. Second. I second. Any further discussion? Okay. Actually, I want to talk about. I'm not sure I want to do this right now. 
Uh, yeah, we'll do it. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.